Hi, Sam from Cinch here, and this is the Volkswagen ID3. This is Volkswagen's entrant into the electric hatchback category, so it goes up against other small hatchbacks with electric power, like the Renault Zoe, BMW Mini. It's really, really competitive, but Volkswagen obviously has quite a lot of experience when it comes to building cars in very competitive segments, and this car uses a totally bespoke base with a new platform and all new technology inside as well. So it's a really, really strong contender. Let's take a closer look. So the ID3 in this specification has a 58 kilowatt hour battery. Because this is a proper electric car, it means the battery is located under the floor. Although there are some electric gubbins under the bonnet here, so you don't actually get any storage space, but the bonnet is really, really small, which makes it much easier to drive. And obviously this being a pretty large hatchback, it has a pretty large boot. In fact, there's loads of space in here, easily spaced for three suitcases down there and probably some more luggage up top there as well. The cables to charge the car do go into a bag, but they don't fit under the floor, so you do have to leave them in the boot, but they do snuck down into quite a small space. And you do have a charging port here, which is pretty nifty, a little 12 volt port there, so if you ever wanna power anything out the back of the car, you can do, not bad. Now, as far as the design goes, it's totally different to any of the other Volkswagen products at the moment because they haven't gone for the idea of like mixing in golf looks or anything like that. The ID family all get their own bespoke design. And when it comes to the ID3, you've got these snazzy surround lights on the headlights and no intake, of course, because no petrol engine to cool down. The wheels are also 19 inches as well, but this car swallows them up quite a lot. You probably wouldn't think they're 19 inches. Quite a significant tire as well, pretty chunky design. Uh, and this little first bit here, this emphasizes that this particular car is one of the early ones of the ID3 production line. Very simple design over here. You do actually, interestingly, get drum brakes on the back of this car. Now, a lot of people a few years ago probably thought the drum brake was extinct, at least on cars that were anything of significance. But thanks to the regenerative technology you get on this car and electric cars like it, the amount of deceleration created by the regenerative tech means you don't actually need brake discs on the back anymore. So they've gone for the simpler, cleaner, and just cheaper design and cheaper solution, but it actually does work perfectly well, as we'll find out when we drive the car. Uh, obviously under here, you have your electric port, and around the back, it's very, very simple, very clean. Two-tone finish of this car is carried off the roof, down onto the boot lid, allows them to run with a white Volkswagen badge and white ID3 badging, which is quite interesting. Pretty tidy pretty unoffensive design. Some people might say, oh, it doesn't have too much drama to it, but I think a lot of people would just say it's a nice, clean Volkswagen finish. Looks the part. Let's go inside and see if that's continued with the interior. Now, inside the ID3, it's a mixture of new and old. Steering wheel here is very clearly designed exactly the same as it would be in a Volkswagen Golf, for example. And the, the screen you get here and the, the infotainment menus, they're all familiar as well from the latest Volkswagen products, but it does come in a slightly different layout. And of course, this section here is totally different. You actually have your gear selector here. You know, no more do you have your gear selector down here because obviously this being an electric car, it has just one speed. So it's just basically go and stop and park. So you twist this around here to actually take it in and out of drive and put it into reverse, etc. Loads of space down here because you obviously don't have any of that gear selector or even a handbrake down here anymore. So it's very spacious in here, very comfortable. The seating position is quite elevated. You've got those batteries underneath you, of course, but it does give you a very commanding view of the road. And there's just loads of space behind as well. I mean, I've got the seat set exactly how I would want it and I'm above average in height. So the fact that there's tons of room in the back there for someone like me or even taller is actually really very impressive and a signal of just how large this car is. Lots of functionality designed into the interior as well. You've got these touch sensitive buttons on here. Same goes here. The heater controls are actually slide uh, activated down here, but then you can also adjust stuff within the system itself as well. Cup holders, storage place for your phone. You've got a little uh, little cubby thing here and loads of storage space in the door as well. You can get some, some pretty big bottles or cups in there. Uh, and armrests for each passenger. Look at that, that is luxury. <laughs> Uh, and I really like the interior actually of this first edition car. This gets a few extra added features, mostly when it comes to tech and driver assistance features. But obviously also the seats come with a quite cool pattern uh, and the fit and finish of the car just feels typically Volkswagen, which is to say it's good, it's strong, it's sturdy. You really get what you pay for in this car as far as the interior is concerned. But obviously the party piece for this car is all to do with the technology underneath you and driving those wheels. So driving the ID3 is a very calming experience actually. 
Clearly, the focus has been on ease of use because I didn't have to spend more than about 0.2 seconds trying to understand what I was doing in this car. The controls and everything are so familiar, it's very typical. Some people will say, oh, it's nothing new here, but other people, and I think the majority of people who will climb aboard this will say, actually, I like the fact that I don't have to think about this, I just get on with my life in an electric car. To drive, pretty typical of a Volkswagen Group car, pretty calm, pretty easy to steer, responds nicely to your steering inputs, the brake pedal is actually not quite as sharp as I felt in other Volkswagen models, and I mean that in a good way, it's not bitey or snappy, so it doesn't have me forced into touching the brake pedal and then smashing my head on the windscreen, I can really modulate the pedal pressure and drive really nicely and smoothly. And the accelerator as well, because of the smooth delivery of the electric power, which actually, 200 horsepower, it does get up and go, it means it's a really easy car to drive smoothly. It does have your different drive modes as well, you can click the touch sensitive button here, and there is a sport mode which does sharpen up the accelerator a bit gives you a little bit of noise and it just makes the car feel that little bit tighter. But really, this car feels most at home when it's in comfort or eco mode. What the reward of driving this car is, is from driving it smoothly and efficiently and making the most of the regenerative tech that is fitted to it. Let's get it up to 70 mile an hour. There's a tiny bit of road noise and that, that's obviously emphasized by the fact that there isn't any real motor noise. But actually, it's a really quiet place. As you can tell, I'm not raising my voice at all. You could hold a really low volume conversation in here or really enjoy the sounds of this pretty powerful sound system without any background noise to annoy you. Now, the space in this car is really, really generous. It's really big inside. There's loads of room in the boot, as we showed you earlier, and obviously in the back seat as well. So it means you could have the whole family aboard here. You've got enough torque and enough power to drive you around. Really nice place to spend a long amount of time really easy car to drive i'm comfortable people in the back will be comfortable and i think it's probably going to be the sort of car that you just live with day to day you really wouldn't have to think about much when it comes to adapting your driving style or lifestyle of course other than switching from petrol stations to the plug but thankfully because this car fast charges there's no real reason why you would need to charge it more than once a week 260 miles it does to one charge that's got to be plenty right it's just a nice background friend to have that doesn't really stand out in your life, but actually does everything you want it to do really, really well. So there we have it. The ID3 is a raging success as far as electric hatchbacks go. It's comfortable, it's spacious, and it's exactly the sort of car you'd need if you lived in the city and you wanted an eco way of getting around. Of course, this car is going to have a family of members next to it. The ID4 is already out, and there are more models coming from Volkswagen sister brands as well, based off the same platform. But this car really looks like a really strong contender and it really could stack up very strongly against its rivals. The ID3 could just be all the car you'll ever need. If you liked what you just watched, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We've got plenty more EV reviews coming up and reviews of all other types of cars as well. And of course, if you like this video, click that like button below. See you soon.